Hey guys, welcome to another episode. So I'm with Mary from the Gate.io. She is the marketing head of a Gate.io. The Gate.io is a very different exchange. It is not kind of a, the ICOs kind of things like many people heard like we did it in the earlier videos. It is a IEO, right? So IEO is the initial exchange offering. So Mary, I just wanted to get more inside. I'm really excited that what exactly you guys do and you guys really have a good domain names get.io, right? It's like an entry point for the blockchain. <laughs> Absolutely. So gate.io has been around since 2013. Uh, so we're one of the oldest crypto exchanges around. We do crypto to crypto. Um, we've got over 200 uh, blockchain assets and over 400 trading pairs. So we have a lot of different cryptocurrencies on our platform. Um, we're also really happy to be one of the top 10 uh, crypto exchange in terms of real volume. We just won an award in Singapore for top 10 crypto exchanges. Really excited wow. about that. Um, and we've been working with a lot of different uh, research uh, companies that really investigate all of the fake volume uh, and all those problems because that's a real problem in the industry. And that kind of brings us to all of the IEO stuff, you know. Um, what are IEOs? So IEO stands for Initial Exchange Offering. Originally, uh, in the there was a, you know, a real change in the way that you could uh, raise funds. It was called ICO, Initial Coin Offering. And um, it was a real revolution in the world of, uh, of funding. You were able to get money directly from people who are going to use your product. Kind of uh, similar to crowdfunding. crowdfunding. It's crowdfunding, except that, you know, instead of just having like a real money product, a uh, real product, it was for the virtual world. Yeah. Um, ICOs were great in some cases, but there was a real lack of accountability. Absolutely. And that's one of the things that IEOs offer. Accountability, accountability for the users, accountability for the projects, accountability for the exchange. So what do I mean by that? So the projects, you know, when they, when they work with an exchange, they're always gonna be scared that the exchange is maybe, like I said, faking volume, yeah. faking users, all that kind of stuff. That's something that at Gate.io, we take a firm stance against. We're very focused on transparency and integrity. We don't, we have zero wash trading. Very, we have very low tolerance for that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, so a lot of these projects, they're scared of uh, being scammed by these exchanges because there are a lot of these exchanges around. That's and the main reason I feel like the Facebook and the Google, they actually ban all the crypto ICO offering advertisement, right? Because many people are getting scammed due to this kind of activity. See, it's like a two-sided sword. Like it has a good point of view, like to going to create an innovation. And it's a different part also, the black side. Like so world is getting introduced to the more black side about this. But I really appreciate like the IEO really giving accountability mm -hmm. that's an important part integrity and accountability of any investment mm -hmm. is really important to build a better product or gate.io what kind of a currency that you are right now enlisted in your platform so in april we launched gt mm -hmm. gatechain token which is our native uh native token and we launched it because at the end of this year we'll be launching our decentralized exchange and it'll be the network transfer fee uh, used as a transfer fee. So uh, that's one of the reasons that we launched it. We also launched it as a way to, you know, keep on uh, rewarding our, our, our users 
with uh, various like discounts and uh, and offerings and that sort of thing. And then um, there are hosts of other reasons, but uh, yeah, basically we thought that GT would be great, especially for our decentralized exchange in the future. But, um, and that the kind of comes back to the whole IEO thing. Um, you know, one of the ways that we make sure uh, that uh, projects have accountability is, uh, is by, you know, maybe they can raise some of their funds in GT, in our native token. And uh, often we require that they lock some funds in our native token. And in that case, if the project sets a certain amount of milestones and, uh, and deadlines, then we can decide to release the funds only if they reach those milestones. So of course it depends what the project is like and what kind of promises they make to the users, but uh, we're, we, you know, we have the capability of doing that. And that really brings uh, accountability. So, like I said, projects is really important for them to uh, have accountability from our side, so that uh, they know that the projects are real. Users, they want to know that, uh, and this is very important. They want to know that the projects are real. They're they're going to deliver. That's something that we can offer. And um, one of the really big things, and I think this is really important um, for ICOs. It was great, people were able to raise funds, but then the big question was, okay, that's great, uh, well, you know, we have this money, but where do we get listed now, yeah. right? Uh, how, how are you going to be able to liquidate the funds if you Absolutely. want to liquidate them? And so the, one of the reasons that IEOs are also popular is because it decreases the risk that the user is taking because the coin is going to be listed within the next two days on our platform, it means you're going to be able to liquidate it if you want to. That comes with a certain set of challenges because, uh, you know, because of, there's a very small market cap, whales can come in and pump and dump. So we've taken measures to safeguard against that. Uh, and that was a trial and error uh, yeah. lesson. But uh, I think that's really important. You know, you're, you're launching your coin. Uh, and you people need to be able to trade it because otherwise, what 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 is the point really? And uh, having the active customers is really important in this era, because uh, I had a discussion with a couple of uh, guys who are doing the investment in this space. They always ask like accountability and transparency and the liquidity mm -hmm. of the exchange is really important. Right, because these kind of a things only help them to trust on the exchange. Otherwise, you know, like there are many cases happen like exchanges, like they shut down and they run away, right? With the existing, like <laughs> it's happened a couple of time. So it's important to have that kind of a transparency because it's a evolving process. As we know, like uh, we are in the, the first step of a blockchain and the crypto. So we are expecting some more exciting things in this market. And what kind of a uh, legal uh, advice that uh, you wanted to discuss with the entrepreneurs who want to be in the blockchain space? If somebody wanted to build an application in this particular market, then what kind of a precautions they have to consider? Because you understand the inside out, because you re you already have a ready to run product with you like gate.io and IEO which is having a good accountability. So you guys are more cautious about giving a best result to your customers, right? So what kind of a precautions people has to consider for while they are starting their own blockchain company or any kind of uh, services? So regulation is coming through this year. It's come in some countries already like Japan, Korea, uh, but yeah, we're seeing a lot of regulation being pushed through this year, and I, I suspect into next year as well. Yeah. Um, I think you, you have to decide on what makes the most sense for you. Uh, I know, like, for example, in Southeast Asia, a lot of uh, the licenses are going to come through at the very beginning of next year. And that's already kind of been decided and the rules are already decided. So, you know, if you work with the right people, you're going to be able to figure out what it is uh, that is required. However, in some other countries, you know, there's still decisions being made behind closed doors or, you know, just as part of a general discussion. 
Um, it, ha it really obviously depends on what your project is. I know you mentioned that you work with a lot of you work with a lot of developers yeah. and all of that. So I think you want to take a look at a place that's going to be friendly for developers um, more so than at the moment uh, uh, necessarily crypto friendly. Yeah, that's that would be my advice and. I mean, the, where you are incorporated, I meet people every day yeah. who are incorporated in a certain location and then have a lot of their staff in another or work out of another place. Yeah, that's great. Like, um, as you know, like education is also important in this particular field. So whenever the any new customer come up, you always try to get more insight about the education, like how educated your customer is in this particular space, because um, as we discussed, Mary, like we need a, a to Z understanding of any kind of things, like instead of a, a to Y or something like that, you should not have that one piece missing, like because of that fear is getting created in this ecosystem. So always go insightful is really important. Apart from that, how is your experience in this next blog Asia event? Like what is number one takeaway that you think you are getting from this conference? Um, the next blog conference has been amazing so far. <laughs> yeah, that's... Um, I was on a panel yesterday and we were talking about, you know, the future of funding, IEOs and all of yeah. that. And there was a lot of interesting insights from uh, all of the various uh, other panelists. I think you know, um, there's there's been a lot of discussion around IEOs and where the future is going to be at. Uh, IEOs were only really only really started a few months ago. I know it's been like a big buzzword, and yeah. in the crypto space, everything goes so quickly. <laughs> it seems like a century ago, but it's actually still really new. And uh, like I said, uh, we went through some initial hurdles when it came to trading. Uh, but we've pushed back on that and we've implemented some rules to make sure that uh, we would pass those hurdles. And I suspect uh, that's the case for a lot of the different exchanges. And I suspect that all of them are, you know, adopting different rules as well. Yeah. I'm really excited about IEOs because I think there's real potential there to make it an alternative way to, uh, to fund your project. For ICOs, it was a potential way, but because there was a lack of accountability, uh, it was a huge issue. Yeah. Whereas IEOs, you know, we, of course, people, uh, the projects bring some of their own users, but we already have some users, and it is not our incentive to go and scam them because, you know, at Gate.io, we've got 3 million users. This Just is very so huge, yeah. That's, that's, that's the answer for this question like you are having a good accountability that's why people want to come towards you yes absolutely so, yeah thank mary for this wonderful interview i hope you are enjoying the show thank I you so much have a good day bye